Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd share a little homeschool haul with you guys, including supplies and some curriculum. So if you'd like to see a little peek into the homeschooling part of our lives, stick around. And if you're new, consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos. So first up is some of the curriculum we got for Garrett this year for second grade and a few other things. We're using ACE paces again this year, but only for three subjects, English, word building, and math. We'll be doing science, social studies, and Bible together as a family, and then the boys will each have their individual work for other subjects. This is the calendar I got for our bulletin board. I still need to get it laminated. And for some extra books, we got this outdoor science lab for kids. And we also got 180 days of math, geography, science, and social studies. There's a bunch of extra worksheets for Garrett to do, and I can also work them into our weekly units. For Bible, we got this 50 Instant Bible Lessons book. It's full of activities and fun learning for 50 different Bible lessons, and so far both boys are loving it. And this is just some of my stuff. I got my favorite erasable pens. And this is the planner I'm using this year. It has a monthly planner and a weekly planner where I can schedule out all the parts of our school day. For Tucker, I have the pre-K curriculum I put together when Garrett was in pre-K. There is so much stuff in these binders, I don't think he'll run out of stuff to do.
then he also has some extra workbooks he can do for fun and some of the wipe clean ones. These big red binders have so much stuff in them. I got two of these full of different stuff for just $5 at a library book sale one year. As far as supplies go, I just ran to Walmart and grabbed the stuff I knew we were running low on or that we would need. Now obviously the boys didn't need these backpacks since we homeschool, but I thought it would be fun for them. And these also came with a lunchbox and a water bottle. I just got these little coat hooks to put on the wall, that way they can hang their backpacks next to their chairs and have everything they need close by. And another thing we didn't really need, but I thought would be fun, I grabbed them these divided lunch boxes. I never get to do the fun school lunch packing, and now I can. Instead of a regular school box, I got them these clear boxes from the craft section at Walmart. They have two trays inside of them, so they'll have plenty of room for all their supplies, and they can see everything that's in the box. Then we got the usual colored pencils, crayons, and markers. I also got them some regular pencils, and these neon ones were super cheap. They each have a ruler, and I got a big pack of erasers. I got some clear glue for them, as well as a huge pack of glue sticks. These were only a dollar something for a 12 pack, so I just went ahead and grabbed them all. These boys can go through glue really fast. I needed some new dry erase markers for our board, and also some new highlighters because Tucker likes to draw with mine, and they were all ruined. I got some more star stickers for Garrett's paste chart. And it wouldn't be pre-K without some paint and Play-Doh. For the last little bit of stuff, I grabbed some folders, some more construction paper, some sheet protectors and dividers, and some binders. And right before I left, I saw this and had to grab it for the boys. I thought they would enjoy it. We're going to add this game to our board game collection. And last but not least, on Amazon, I found Tucker some left-handed scissors. So here's how their school boxes turned out. I think they look awesome. There's a space for everything, and there's even room for more. Some of my favorite new things we got for our schoolroom is this chalkboard and marker set. Chocola contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try them out, so they sent these to me, and I'm so grateful. This board is the perfect size to set on our school table, 
or it would even work really well as a mini board in your kitchen. It has a wooden frame with a ledge for your chalk marker and a stand on the back. The board comes with a white chalk marker, but Chocola was also kind enough to send me this huge box of markers and I'm so excited. This box comes with 30 chalk colors and 10 metallic colors, and each of the colors is so bright and pretty. They write really fluidly, they don't drag on the board or anything, and they look so pretty when they dry. So like I said, I think this would make a great menu board in the kitchen, or maybe even a chore chart. For us, our first science unit study is on plants, so I decided to draw the parts of a flower on the board so the boys could have fun learning them. Definitely not a professional artist, but even with a simple drawing, this turned out looking so pretty because the markers show up so well. So if you want to check out this chalkboard or markers or any of the other great products that Chocola has to offer, I'm going to leave their link down in my description box as well as a discount code. So I thought I'd also give you guys a little tour of our schoolroom. It's part schoolroom, part office, and part craft room, but somehow we make it work. So on this side is my office side with my printer and all of my files. And this desk is where I spend a lot of time editing YouTube videos. This is the table the boys will be using every day. Like I said, I bought those coat hooks and I hung their backpacks up near their chairs. These are their binders with their weekly work in them. It's separated by each day, so every day they know which work they need to do. And under the table I have these plastic drawer sets. They used to have my sewing supplies in them, but I made some room for more school supplies. And this one is mostly my stuff, my tape and scissors and stickers and labels. The next one is just some random craft supplies. There's some Thanksgiving stuff in there, some clay, pipe cleaners. And the bottom drawer is our Play-Doh drawer. This one has all of our glue and scissors, erasers, and paint. And this one has a bunch of other random art stuff. There's a whole bunch of stickers and little things we've gotten from fast food places.
and the bottom drawer is full of all of our paper. And this is my sewing side of the room. And there's our calendar I still need to hang up. And this table right here is my cutting table for fabric, but since I'm not sewing right now, it's being used as my teacher desk. This is all of the stuff we need to use this week. On this shelf is all of our curriculum. The top shelf is everything that Garrett has done before that I'm saving for Tucker in the next year or two. And this shelf is all the stuff we're using this year. This shelf is a mixture of different games and puzzles and magnets. Over here we have all of our board games, and then we have some more board games and some puzzles. This box is full of the smaller games and card games. This one is full of manipulatives and counters and that kind of thing. And this one is mostly flashcards. We're excited to get into our fourth year of homeschool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one.